Welcome to Let's Talk Special Economic Zones, raising awareness of the impact of SEZs on people, planet, profits, and governance with Ainsley Brown. Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Talk Special Economic Zones. I'm your host, Ainsley Brown, and in today's topic, we're going to cover uh, why are zones the target of uh, money laundering and other financial crimes? This is sometimes not a very widely known fact, but zones um, have been targeted um, for money laundering. And um, there, there there are several reasons why, and it's, it is basically the very nature of what a zone is. And zones, and you know, I say this in every episode, no matter what you want to call them, um, enterprise zones, free zones, um, special economic zones, um foreign trade zones whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing it's it's a designated area by a government that says um we have designated this area it is different from the rest of the economy we're going to put up some some level of fiscal incentives to tax breaks that is to incentivize people to operate within their create jobs and and and, and so forth and they're right around the world they're, you know it's not a developing world or, or or third world thing it's actually right around the united states for example has um a, a foreign trade zone um foreign trade zone uh, program uh, now the fiscal incentives or or different things that may happen within the zone uh may varies around the world but the basic construct is the same and one of the critical things and this is where uh it's one of the areas where where money laundering or money launderers target, and that is um, because zones there's the, there's one particular fiscal incentive that is tends to be fairly universal. In fact, it's the only one being offered by um, the United States program, and that is um, duty free uh, concessions. Um, in terms of equipment and and raw material and and goods, finished goods going into into a into a zone, so they um, allow these equipment, these this material to go in duty free. They're not charging any duties as long as they remain in in that zone. So, because zones are you know free, <laughs> so to speak. They are a little bit more liberal. They're a little bit more. They're intended for speed. They're intended for things to move seamlessly and fast. And think, you know, the 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 money launderers prey on on that. Um, in addition, they're hoping for, and sometimes you know, it, it does happen that there isn't sufficient customs supervision. In some jurisdictions, there is. Um, very strong custom supervision. In fact, the World uh, Customs Organization strongly recommends that customs is involved at every stage of zones, from from who the, the the investors that are let in to the goods going in and out. But not every jurisdiction has that, so you will find that um, people will exploit that. Right, or even when there are there is customs uh, supervision, people will still try to exploit, and they, there are different techniques uh, that are used. You can use in terms of real estate because many zones, when it comes to development, whether it's lease in the zone uh, or lease in the area, long term lease. Sometimes you're leasing for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, or you could be you know leasing for five or, or three, four, five or so years, depending on, 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 on the type of operation that you're doing. But for those that are building out, right, uh, the zone, it, it, it tends to be on a long-term, long-term lease. And, or they could be purchasing land. And from there, that's when potential for um, dirty money to become literally clean would be laundered, right, through, through real estate, real estate investments. In addition, it can be used where um, equipment or equipment and raw materials um, or under invoiced or over invoiced. That is, they're 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 below really what they cost or cost or are above what they really cost to hide uh, money. Um, 
And that can also happen after the zone is built out in terms of when trade is happening, physical goods are moving. Um, that's a favorite technique that is used in terms of over invoicing or under invoicing. And um, so, for example, in terms of the trade aspect, you could be sending a container load of X, right? And then you say it's valued at a thousand US dollars, let's say. Uh, but really, what's in there is it worth, it's worth a million dollars. So it's really sent to pay for something else or bent to, 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 to clean up, um, make, 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 uh, that which was dirty money, clean money. Um, uh, so there are different techniques that it, 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 it's endless, right? So authorities have to set up mechanisms in order to mitigate that, right? Um, and it's, and it's, and it's a global phenomenon. It is not, um, confined or restricted to one area um and it's not just a case of you know people may be thinking oh they'll they'll send money in containers into the zone and because the, the, you know there isn't as much inspection um in in the zone and that's how that can happen but chances are that's not really what's happening it's actually the flow of 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 money trying to get it out of the illegitimate channels and put it into legitimate channels so that it is clean that's basic that's money laundering right um you want to turn dirty money into clean money and zones unfortunately sometimes attract that and it's not just cash but it can be things that can be exchanged for cash very quickly um it can be um, phones cell phones right things that 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 can be converted very quickly to cash it can be sim cards it can be um cars um it can be gold it can be diamonds gems um, precious stones it can be coffee uh, different commodities it can be oil it varies it's it's and, and 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 money laundering is not just about um say um drug dealers and things like that it can also be for for countries that are under sanctions and um they want to get around the sanctions so they 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 use different mechanisms uh and filter certain things through zones so that which was dirty now comes out clean all right so i hope this was useful for you um if you like this episode please like share subscribe um if you want to see me do a topic uh just leave me a comment down below and i'll get right back to you bye for now